beginning Euro nymph fishermen seem to all make the same mistake when trying to work this fast, swift, swirly pocket water like I'm fishing into here. This white water with all sorts of different currents and little rip tides and whirlpools is it can wreak havoc on a good presentation if you let your cider hit the water. So what we want to do is when we cast and we're gonna we're gonna fish this type of water, I'm gonna stop very short with a shorter line. I'm gonna let my flies hit the water first. Be very intentional about that and then let your cider hover down over the top of it like you saw at the beginning of the video. When I fish like this style, I've got to be very diligent about keeping my line short. I generally only want about maybe two to three feet longer than my rod length and I'll pinch the line right here so I'm in very good control. I'll drop the flies in, let my cider just gently hover down over the top of it, and typically my cider is never going to touch the water. My cider is a 3x material, it's much thicker, and these swift currents when they hit that cider material are just going to push it downstream and I'm never going to find the bottom or a trout. My my tippet material is either going to be a 4x or a 5x. It's very skinny and it can slice through that current. Drop those flies in first. Keep that cider hovering. Gently measuring your way to the bottom before you begin your lead. That's going to really help you out in this type of pocket water. And when you cast, stop with that rod tip short and learn to make those flies. Make a little kerplunk hitting first and then your cider and your tippet just gently parachuting over the top of it.